Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda uh, Link to the Past Part 3, and we felt like going for a nice swim in this part. Yeah, more side quests, because there's just a shit ton of stuff to do in this game. That's what makes it so great. I love Link's, Link's animation of him swimming makes it look like he's just, like, drinking the water. Yeah, it does. <laughs> 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 Uh, I will. I will say though that the swimming controls are kind of bad in this game, but it it's a SNES game, like whatever. You shouldn't be spending more than like ten minutes swimming for any playthrough of this game. So whatever, I don't care. Don't swim shame me. I will swim shame. And, uh, <laughs> I like how that dude's like, "Wow, Link, looks like you're in some trouble." It's like, who told you? I mean, you know, just just a mystical quest. I, I killed the dragon. That was cool. I like how that bridge grows like five times as big the second you go under it. <laughs> yeah, just like yeah. houses. Link, I noticed you had some trouble, but if you couldn't help him notice, I'm in financial trouble. <laughs> oh. I'm sleeping under a bridge. <laughs> but but let me give you my only my Possession. only item left in the world, an empty glass bottle. Now fuck off. Oh. The bar won't. The bar won't keep filling it up with beer, so I, it's no <laughs> use to me. It wouldn't be filled up with beer, so I filled it with piss. <laughs> Remember when we were kids, like? <laughs> <laughs> you are my best friend. Then my father lost our house, and he never spoke to me ever again. Fuck you, Lee. How's How's your uncle doing? <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Poor Link, his life sucks. Can you spare me a few rupees? <laughs> no, I, ju I just gave a bunch to a giant fairy so I could carry more bombs and arrows. Get fucked. Oh, yeah, those were the days. <laughs> 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 What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I glitched the fucking game. I'm sorry. Surprised by the fuckers? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> They're both just like Link. We already tell the fact that why were they both staring at the chair for? It's my turn to say it. No, it's not. It's my turn. Get out my chair. I just think it's funny. Like Link busts into the sanctuary. He's like, "You're under arrest." Ah, just kidding. It's just me. I wonder what was going through their heads. Like, we? How, how did? How did you get back in there? <laughs> I fell through a grave. What were you doing, grave robbing? I'm just having some fun. Link, the world is in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having some fun. Wait, did we already do two dungeons? Yeah, we've done two. Uh, we did Eastern and Desert. So now we're going to head over to Tower of Hera. Oh, damn. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's... I kind of did some shitty pacing here in the light world. So, I mean... We did a lot. We got the flippers, which you don't really need to do until Dark World, but, you know, it helps me get the bottle and get all those fairy upgrades. Get that fairy ass. Dark World Duck. Let's get dangerous. <laughs> Isn't that just Nega Duck? Yeah, sh shut up. Mm, that's what I thought. More old people in secluded areas. Just the state of affair. Yeah, what's up with all the all these old men in caves? Like, it's getting kind of creepy. I Me, mean, it's getting sexy. <laughs> Tony Stark was able to make this in a cave with a <laughs> box of scraps. Have you guys ever been spelunking? <laughs> no. That shit's scary. I've seen the descent, alright? I know no, what happens I, when women go in caves. I I've been spelunking and I it's it's terrifying. I don't like it. It combines two of my fears, being in a small space and being really high up. <laughs> spelunking sounds like a sexual term. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's have, have you have you been spelunking? You bet your ass I have. <laughs> <laughs> spelunking? I barely know her. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, what's going on? Is this man just like, is this, I wonder if he's like a spelunking instructor or something. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of feel bad for him. I mean, he's just this lonely old dude 
just lives by himself on the mountain. He had his granddaughter, but, you know, she got kidnapped and sent to the Dark Dimension. So, uh, he's got nothing to do but give, give Link a mirror, and he'll go on his merry way. Oh, watch out for the, the boogers. Watch out <laughs> for the giant cabbages. <laughs> My cabbages! They look like Brussels sprouts. Ew. Dude, Brussels sprouts are delicious, especially when you drench them in garlic. It's great. If you drench anything in garlic, it tastes good. Yeah, I think you just like garlic, MBM. I, I do like garlic. garlic. <laughs> it helps me sleep better at night. Oh god, Link's a damn fursuiter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a furry! So, I th think this should bring something up. So, he turned into a bunny, and the bunny had pink fur. Alright? So, logically, that must mean that the pink on his hat that you see there, that's his hair. It's his All hair. Right? Yeah. Link. I mean, I've always thought it was his hair. What else Thank would it you. be? Thank you. I always keep telling people that Link to the Past Link has lovely pink hair, but I was like, no, it's the brim of his head. It's like, no, go fuck yourself, pink hair. Which is weird because, like, in all the art, he has blonde hair. Yeah. But also, his hat doesn't have any pink on it in the art. Yeah. It's like, what? What's he also happening? doesn't have pants in the art, so... Oh, yeah. yeah. So, it's, so, so yeah. that's why it's MBM's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here's a little trick. If you stand on these pegs when they go up, uh, you're sort of in an invincible state. So, as these tiles make a space invader, you can just chillax. Oh, that's nice. Yep. And alternatively, you could, you know, run back and forward, slash your sword, die. But... You know, I, I I prefer just. What I what I always did was I would just go into a corner and let my shield protect me. Yeah, you can do that too. But another cool thing about having the pegs up is that when you go to the next room, the pegs are down, so you know, saves a little time. Hey, MBM. What's up? What are you? What do you call having sex with with a with a guy who? Uh, hold on, this joke will make sense at some point. I just have to keep I have to create it first. <laughs> How do you? What do you call a guy who is who who rec He's. <laughs> what do you call a guy? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I have this. Hold on. Let me put a pin in it and I'll come back to you. <laughs> All right. All right, cool. So while you do that, um, I'm going to do a glitch I just, here. I just got to write where... this down. No, no, no. That's okay. Cool. You just take your time. Oh, uh, look at those pro strats. Yeah, you can do a bomb jump there. It's super easy. Like, there's a really huge uh, window where you just need to place that bomb. Count to three, dash into the wall, and then it'll blast you across the gap so you can get the moon pearl which you need to get and I think is something kind of interesting with this dungeon is that the dungeon item doesn't do anything in the dungeon it's not even required in the dungeon but it's required for the game so I mean it's something that they probably could have done in later Zelda games but it sort of breaks up the flow of go dungeon get item use item over and over in dungeon use item on boss and then rarely if ever use item again Okay, Captain Sequel Eyes, calm down. <laughs> okay, MBM. Oh what God. do you call a guy? <laughs> what do you call a guy whose whose gender identity matches their sex, but you're you're having sex with him from behind? Peg Pegasus. I'm so ashamed of you, Stephen. <laughs> I think this playthrough's over. But Stephen, you're bad in this. <laughs> Not by a lot, but you're bad in that joke. Uh, God fucking uh, damn it. This, this should be the final part of the uh, Link to the Past LP. We got all the I'm, pendants, yeah. We're, we beat the game. We're done. Game's over. I mean, this is usually the part when most... Uh, YouTube hyper cam unregistered hypercam two let's plays of Link to the Past get cancelled anyways. <laughs> oh why? Because then the game starts to get a little hard. Yeah. <laughs> and then I do. Oh yeah. <laughs> like I just don't get it. Why are you gonna start a let's play and then just 
not realize until halfway through that you can't beat the game because you suck. <laughs> Maybe you should have considered putting stuff on the internet and just not. Maybe we should all go read a science book and do something with our lives. <laughs> yeah. Have any of you guys have even been outside lately? No. What's it like? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, Steven trying to make himself feel better, yes? No. no. <laughs> uh. Oh my god. I'm gonna get the master soon. Those two look like drunken Luigi's. <laughs> <laughs> They have names. I could have looked it up. Okay, so look, here's the thing. I wanted to do research for this playthrough. I wanted to have a whole bunch of information, and I was going to drop a shit ton of facts on you guys, but then I didn't. And so here we are recording it, and I don't even know what the Lumberjacks' names are. I I don't even know what their plot significance is. All I know is that they randomly disappear halfway through the game. Oh, yeah. We're not allowed in the village. <laughs> Alright, so so this scene is fucking art. I love getting the Master Sword and a Link to the Past. Mm -hmm. I love that they reused the sword pulling music for Ocarina of Time and then for... Mm -hmm. Twi I think Twilight Princess also uses it too. I mean, a lot of... Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny that a lot of music that's in Ocarina of Time that people are like, Oh man, this is why Ocarina of Time soundtrack is so great. Mm. And a lot of that music is from... A link to the past. So true. <laughs> but that's that game that game's not three D. I only play games at three D. I only play games from my childhood, because my childhood was the best. <laughs> okay, uh hot take. Do you think the Master Sword is the greatest sword in fiction? If not, what what would you respond with? Oh shit. I mean lightsabers are pretty cool. Lightsabers are pretty cool, so I'm trying to think... They're not, they're not technically swords, though. It, it has to be a sword. Okay. So, so one of my criteria is definitely uh, how it feels up my ass, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and light, light, say, lightsabers leave a, leave a mark. <laughs> they leave a mark. Oh, God. I mean, Keyblades have got that, that big head. No. And Keyblades are dumb. Keyblades aren't swords. They're not? I think... They're not... It's a fucking key, not a sword. But swords, what if swords don't swords don't open and close things. The key keyblade does. I'm gonna rule out keyblades. My sword opens your face. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's a key that when you stick it in people, it unlocks their death? <laughs> <laughs> it unlocks the achievement unlocks death. Because I think my sword's pretty good. I like. I'm 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 a kind of a fan of the Sword of Omens from the Thundercats lore. Give you, sap, you, you could stick it up your... And the Sword of Omen extends, MBM. Oh. So you could stick it up your butt, and then it could extend, and then it gives you sight beyond sight, so I can see exactly what's going on inside your colon. Fuck yeah. This OP went south so bad. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I can't think of any swords. So I guess Master Sword is yeah. sure. Oh, it, oh, guys, oh, clearly we're all forgetting Caliburn from Sonic and the Black Knight. Oh, yeah. Best sword, uh, best sword ever. Or, 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 or um, the White Wangers. White Wangers. The he's White Wangers. Aw, is Widow the, Gilway talking about Power Rangers? <laughs> the Alt-Right Ranger from Power Rangers. Oh, there had we go. Talk, there had, we go. That, had, that, had that talking sword. Fuck this playthrough. <laughs> all, all of you. Alt-White Power Ranger. That's amazing. <laughs> He doesn't. He doesn't talk to the Black Ranger much. I liked when you were green. <laughs> <laughs> I liked them when they were all Japanese. Yeah, pretty much. Um. Oh, so I. I guess to get off that subject. So <laughs> no, let's stay on it. <laughs> no, let's. Let <laughs> no, because I want to talk about key dashes. Because I'm a nerd, and I know that. When Link dashes, he moves four pixels per frame, and so if you're on a integer of four pixels away from a keyhole door, and you dash into it, you won't bonk it, you'll just dash right through the door. Oh, that's cool. So is that what 
Is that what speedrunners do then, just to avoid having to waste time getting keys? They'll just dash into doors? Well, no, you have to, you still need the key. It's just that. Oh, gotcha, okay. It's so that you can dash across the room to the door and you won't, like, bonk against the door, but instead you just dash through it. Bonk! Yeah. So, see, <laughs> kind of like that. If you, if I wasn't on, like, a four pixel integer, I would have just bonked into it like a wall and then have to walk through the door. Hey, Papa hey, Pal Garrett! <laughs> Where do people keep their money? At the first national bonk! <laughs> God, I miss cartoons made in the 90s. You guys remember when the Powerpuff Girls taught the Justice League that they were all awful uh, sexist? What? Yeah, I love the. Yeah, they, they, they're just great. Like, uh, no, it was it wasn't a Justice League. It was the Super Friends. No, oh no, you're talking about the um, the in canon, the like League of Superheroes, something like that. It's yeah. not the Justice League, but like, there's this, there's this really great, um, like I guess it, it was like a TV ad, but we had like the Super Friends, um, <laughs> got kidnapped, and it's like Wonder Woman and Aquaman are tied up, and Aquaman's like. No, it's no good. I'll send for help. And he just starts doing his like talking to fish thing. <laughs> and what? And Wonder Woman just rolls her eyes like, "What a fucking moron!" <laughs> <laughs> We've all thought that about Aquaman. When we grow up, Wonder Woman, we want to be just like you. You're gonna have to fill out some then. <laughs> 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 they actually, they they literally make a fucking breast size jog in the Powerpuff Girls advert. Uh. God, I miss cartoons made in the nineties. <laughs> Only 90s kids remember that shit. They can't remember anything else. They're too busy remembering 90s kid stuff. Yep. I mean, that's why we're playing this game. <laughs> I mean, we've lost the game. He, they, they kidnapped Zelda. She got sent to the Shadow Realm. Game over, man. Game over. Credits. She she lost a really bad game of Yu-Gi-Oh! She got sent to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That was good. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> like, what is that show? Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's time to do, 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 do. Imagine a fucking show where they name one of their fucking god cards after their executive producer because they just didn't want to use the word Osiris. Where well, is it also the fact that in, in the Japanese version they just flat out die? Before kids were, we can't have that. Um, sent to the Shadow Room, I guess. What's yeah. the Shadow Room? I don't know. <laughs> Go away, you're dead. It's like hell, but not bad. I tried watching it. It was what the fuck are you doing, MPM? There. I tried watching that show as a kid, but it was too it was too stupid even for me. So what I was doing there is that. So what's with all the blue? Is that like the river? I, well, I don't know. All I know is that... I don't so, understand the blue. It's the sky. It's the sky because we're at the top of the castle. I think Nintendo were just too lazy to make a good background for that. I don't know. I think that's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, this is the... Instead... It's falling fucking series over and over again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so MVM is breaking up for me, Gareth. Is he breaking up for you? <laughs> yep, just, just a bit. All right, cool. God fucking damn it. <laughs> I heard God fucking damn it, though, so. <laughs> oh, you're back. Okay, good. MVM, whatever you just said, yeah, I agree. Good, good. <laughs> I, I, I was talking about how Aghanim gives balls, and you don't want to give. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. We weren't able to hear your joke. I agree. I agree. That sucks. I hate it when technology ruins jokes. I hate it like when my phone makes like corrects a typo and like just makes the whole thing not work. Yeah. Well, I I just still don't understand why my phone will not acknowledge that I'm fucking mad. Like when have I ever been ducky mad phone? You should know this by now. I get I get mad and then I duck. Is that the Tower of Hera in front of the sun? Uh kind of sort of. It's that's what so that's Ganon's tower. It stands. Oh yeah, right, right, right. It's it not, stands yeah. where the Tower of Hair is. But yeah, I think that's a really cool little touch that they do there, where you can see the final dungeon over the horizon. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. It's it's very Breath of the Wildy right there, because I know all you you fuckers are just super jazzed about seeing sunrises and sunsets from really type really high places, and then 
tumbling to your fucking desk because you're all terrible at video games. Yeah, get fucked, TJ. Oh. Honestly, I never thought mountain climbing would be this this fun, but it is. I enjoy climbing mountains in Breath of the Wild so much. Oh, so you like climbing mountains, but you don't like spelunking caves. No, 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 in real life. In real life, spelunking is... It scares the shit out of me. I'm never doing it again. You guys want to go spelunking? Yeah! <laughs> we'll do it together. I'm, I'm sure too many games there'll be some kind of like spelunking booth we can try. Would you say booth? <laughs> yeah, booth, panel, whatever. We'll do some spelunking at too many games. Don't you know what spelunking is? Yeah, it's, it's, it's essentially what the human centipede is. <laughs> Got, yeah, well, I mean, he's right. <laughs> Hello, I'd like to partake in your booth of spelunking. Please stand, please stand on this chair and lower yourself down with this rope. You have now spelunked. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, I know there is a game called Splunky. And, and it's... I don't know, I look at it and it just reminds me of uh, La Milana, so... Now I really hope that there is a cave diving thing to do at t too many games. <laughs> <laughs> that involves going outside. If not, we'll find one. So we're in the dark world. We could be the first. We could, oh my god. I, I, I will message too many games and ask if we can set up a, a cave diving <laughs> booth. <laughs> Do you want to go cave dive in? Yes, good for you. All right. Okay, bye. <laughs> You've enjoyed our booth experience. Please rate us <laughs> five out of five. And then after like an hour, unless I could make it more, okay, I'm bored now. We just sit on fire, please. <laughs> just burn the booth and walk away. <laughs> we just we just burned down too many games. Okay, I'm bored now. Bye, everyone. Get out. Uh, this is the real booth experience. So MBM, where are we now? It's the dark world. It's a dark place that's menacing and dark. And has good music. Oh no. This guy seems pretty cool though. Yeah, I like that there's a giant catfish that decides to give you a magical medallion. And all you had to do was just throw something into his hole. Hell yeah. <laughs> Phrasing. Fucking video games. But, uh, yeah, so we, 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 we killed Aghanim, but we didn't really because he's a wizard. And he took us into the Dark World, which this is supposed to be, like, originally the realm of, of holy goodness where the Triforce was. Mm, yeah, the, the Sacred Realm. Mm. Yeah, so this is the Sacred Realm that they talk about non-fucking-stop in Ocarina of Time, but you never go to it, except you might have. Like, some people say that that Cloud Room it, during the ending, like, that's the sacred realm or whatever, but, I don't know. It just doesn't seem worth it. So, nah, this dog. whole... Nah. The whole dark world is the sacred realm. But what happened was, Ganon done fucked, touched the Triforce, <laughs> and made it dark like his heart. And so now, anyone who's ever <laughs> tried to get the Triforce after that gets trapped here and it, it is dark as fuck. It, it's high school all over again. High <laughs> rule high school. I'd watch the show of that cartoon. Yeah, yeah, actually, I would too. It'd be like that Batman high school. Link's show. the new kid who doesn't know anyone, and he's too shy to speak. <laughs> Gotham High. That was, yeah, it was Gotham High. Fucking. People are awful and have terrible ideas. Animation was a mistake. <laughs> it's gotta be better than Riverdale. <laughs> what isn't? At eating a cheeseburger. My my herniated my herniated disc is better than fucking Riverdale. Uh, how the hell are you gonna have a TV show where Archie fucks more teachers than Jughead has eaten burgers? Exactly. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, it's you. It oh hey, there's a monkey in this game. It you, MBM. It you. Yeah. <laughs> it me. It's Kiki's the, the delivery service. That's a good movie. I Can like that movie. Can you spare me 10 rupees? No, go away. <laughs> I like the option never, never give him, him anything. anything. <laughs> ever. But you have to. It's required. I, I don't know why they did this. Like... This comes right the fuck out of nowhere. And I guess it's to add challenge to the Dark World by forcing you to hunt for some rupees, but... 
I don't know. Also, there's gorillas on this palace. It's King Kong. Oh, try to open it yourself. Be a man, NBM. I can't. It, it's too tall. I'm just so short. <laughs> I just have a big head and little arms. I can't reach the switch. You never reach the switch. You never get a switch. See, why can't you just? If that's all you need to do. This is like just use your fucking bow and arrow. This game's bullshit. It's zero out of ten. Go play. Go play Mario Brothers two instead, baby.